She's preparing some movie posters for him to sign for fans while he's on a business call. He was so beautiful. He still is beautiful, though. A few wrinkles here and there, but that's okay. We age gracefully. Jean-Claude is hearing some bad news about the sequel to Bloodsport, the action movie that turned him into a Hollywood superstar. The writer of Bloodsport, a writer, decide Van Damme should not be in Bloodsport. I think he's not there. It's like saying Stallone is not in Rambo and Rocky. And Rambo is they, still they, they thought he was too old. They thought he was like the old man. So he took the two projects on his own. He rolled his sleeves and he's back. But I tell you what, because of that, because of them refusing me to go in movies like that, yes, I'm pissed. Did. I know. But he's giving me now so much power to go into that fight and to knock him out, Somrak. And I'm going to win this fight. That's all I can tell you. This woman has been with me for years. When I was nobody, when I was driving taxi and I stole food in the market because I didn't have any money. I even stole my first birth test where we find out she was pregnant with Christopher in her tummy. And then I left this woman because I did go on the Hollywood lifestyle. I didn't know the jewel I was having. I'm so happy that Gladys forgave me for my mistakes. Nobody's perfect. You are close to be perfect to me, but believe me, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm blessed. But me, I didn't forgive myself yet. I did not. I'm living with those uh, in that with that problem in my heart. I'm living with the scar. I want to take those scars away. And the only way I can take those scars away is to fight and to win. So I can show Hollywood that it's 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 over. I cannot lose the fight. I'm a champion. I will not lose this fight. You look like that. Of course I'm like that. I know, but don't. Don't what? Yeah. You interrupting me. I talk about this to my heart there. Stop, Gladys! No, 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 don't do that. He's so pissed. Oh, my God. He feels he has to, I won't say prove, but he wants, I mean, for his kids again to see him as this, he, the kids love him, but he feels that he needs to have his kids see him as, you know, a hero, everybody's a hero, and he is still. But, you know, he's not the only one that has touched drugs in his life. A lot of people in the industry have touched drugs. You know, but he's tor being tormented by it, and it's sad. I know him like no other knows. I know the guy is very capable by 100%, 101%. So, you okay, babe? God and nothing. After five, six years of being in Los Angeles, I was pushing, 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 and nothing happened. And pushing, pushing to a point I was over. So I fell down in, into the floor in Norton Avenue. I just fell down like a bag of potato. It's like almost like God pushed me and pushed me. He wanted to see that. God wanted to see how much he can push a human being. I tried my best. I, people were making fun of me in Belgium. Because I work with, he's a punching ball of Chuck Norris, he's this, he's that, he's all that stuff. And, and they made fun of my father. Hey, how's your son doing? Punching ball of Chuck Norris. I was successful with the gym and 
I gave up everything. I gave up my dog. I gave up my bird. I was having a talking bird. They both die of sadness. I will never forgive myself. My dog took all his hair away. Same for my bird. They die. I didn't know this. I came back in Belgium. I didn't know they died. I gave up two animals for this. And, and then it's like the phone ring. I pick up the phone and... Menachem gone and called me, and he said, pass by the office. And I did go to the office, and... <laughs> and that blood sport happened and made me famous. I put all that... All the karate I knew and all the rage, I put this in the movie, I put everything, it was getting... <laughs> with cavities, you know, all American, all fucking white teeth and all perfect. And, ah, I was a rage, I did everything and, and no, they don't want to be, put me in blood sport too. Let them do their Hollywood blood sport. My first blood sport was a real blood sport. It was not CGI, it was no cable, it was not trampoline, it was real hit. And I work with some young men that were there for me. And I work 20 hours a day. We closed the door of the studio. We did the final fight in, in half a day with Bolov. Half a day for a final fight. Half a day, four cameras, low angle. Let's go. One shot, wide angle. Half a day. They need two days, three weeks for a fucking fight. Acting, uh, Mama Luke. I'm sorry. I just, I blew up. Some people are gonna like this, but normally people don't like when I scream. I'm sorry, just... You need to apologize. It's because of God I'm gonna win this fight. I'll show you God exists. <laughs>